Hello, my name is Flanker and today I'm going to show you how you can paint your logo onto your models and even show you how to make it glow at night time. So let's do it, shall we? Let's get into Blender. Let's import our P3D and we're going to import the chest plate carrier. And as you can see, it looks like crap. So we're going to click on the object and do import cleanup. Now we click on the model again, we can find hidden selection names. And as you can see, we get Zabitech. And to apply a texture to this, you'll first need to go to the material preview window, this one. And then you can click on this little tab here. We've got daisy textures and just apply the base or apply a texture of your choosing. And if you don't see the shading node at the bottom of the window here, you just go to the shading tab at the top. And you should see the model, you have to zoom back in again. And also at the bottom, if you don't see the nodes down here, you have to go to view and then frame all. Or if you have a full size keyboard, you can press tilde, frame all. So let's change the color on this. I extend the color window, pick a color. I'm gonna pick a purpley color. And you can also extend this uh, surface and shiny and change the roughness of the material. But in this case, we're going to use the SMDI from the original mod. And I'll speed this little part of the video up because I kind of messed up and grabbed the wrong images. But I also grabbed the no HQ from this model and the SMDI. So once you're at this point, you drag that no HQ in and the SMDI. And both of these images, they're um, non-color space. So you need to change this to non-color and also for this one, non-color. And I'm going to connect the um, SMDI to the SMDI color output like this. I'm going to minimize, get it out of the way, uh, put it down here somewhere. And then we're going to extend the normal. And then we're going to connect this to the no HQ and turn the mix up. Sorry, that was perfect timing to change the song. But as you can see with the no HQ and the SMDI, the material on this object looks how it should look in game. So let's clean this node up. Let's uh, minimize these things that we're not using like the color or all of it you can just click and drag them all i'm going to work on the decal so for this we're going to create a new image texture by shift a search image texture and then we want to click new and we're going to set this as a temporary name overlay temp uh let's check alpha is on and also click this color bar and you want to set this alpha to zero and then click new image and this image, it wants to connect into the decal tab. So you want to get the color to color. Remove these. Uh, put this one up. Oh, that's wrong. Color to color. Alpha to alpha. And then this is the important part. You need to make sure this image that I just created has got this white outline around it. That means it's selected. Now I want to head over to the texture paint tab at the top. And if you can't see your model, press Z and select material preview. And you can see your model again. And if you really wanted to, you could paint directly into this with the paintbrush just by zooming in, painting, but we don't want to do that, we want to paint our logo onto it, so let's delete that. So to paint your logo onto it, you need to first go to this uh, texture tab, it looks like a checkerboard. Click onto this, and then you want to open up your um, image, click new, and open, and then pick your logo that you want to paint onto it. And you can paint your logo onto it just by painting on, you can see it uses your logo as the paintbrush kind of weird we don't want to do that so you want to click on this uh, tools icon up here looks like a screwdriver and a spanner and then go down to texture and find this uh, mapping and change this to stencil I'm not tiled stencil now you'll see you got your um, logo in the bottom right cor left corner of your screen but if you paint it just paints the stencil from that location but to move it you right click it and drag like this and you can shift and right click to scale and if you hold control and right click, you can rotate the, the logo around. It's a bit skew if, so I'm gonna reset transform, and it'll bring it back down here. I'm gonna position this roughly where I want it. I want it about there, but I'm not too sure. I'm gonna move the model around with the middle mouse wheel still, just control it like you normally would. You get the perfect angle. I'm trying to level this straight with the camera and places where I want it. And then you simply just click and paint over the top of it by holding click. I'm going to do a couple of scrub arounds over the top of it, like click again, and then it's extra thick, you can see the material has come through. And I'm going to put one on the back as well. I'll put it 
fairly big sized. About there. There you go. So let's say you want to add another logo, a different one. You want to go back to the textures and um, delete the image that you just loaded. So delete that one with the cross and click open. And then browse to your um, the next logo that you want to paint on. So I'm going to use the text. As you can see, it's in the position where the last logo was, so it's a bit skewy. So I'm going to um, go back to the tools, uh, the spanner, and then ch reset transform and click image expect. And then there we go. You got the image back to the original size. And I want it around about there, but well, a bit lower. But I want to straighten this up to the camera again to get it perfect. I want it around about uh, there. No. There, paint it on. There we go. So there's the logo painted on. And to get more control over this, we're going to need to head to the shading tab. Uh, shading tab. And we can change the um, roughness and the metallic sliders. But the metallic's more like a, a, a specular. But it makes it look more metally when it's turned up. And once you mess with that, you want to connect your color into your emissions and this is what will be the glowy texture so what i did here is i got a normal map as well to add some texture to the logo itself to like isolate the texture for it so this is a normal map but they look, they look like this like purpley and this is like a fabric like a yeah like a fabric texture and because this is a normal map you will have to change this color space to non-color because rgb will make it a bit weird looking and then we're going to, um, it doesn't say which normal it is, but it doesn't matter with this one. We're just going to connect it to the normal of the decal, like so. And it's a bit um, big on the texture side, so we're going to um, change the scale of this. But oh, let me show you how to do that real quick. You need to enable Node Wrangler. Go to Edit, Preferences, uh, Node Wrangler. Just make sure you don't add on Search for Node Wrangler and make sure that's enabled. And then you just press Control T when you're on the image and it will... Um, it will create these two nodes for you at the side. And then we're going to click and drag from the top down to change the scale of all three of these, the X, Y, and the Z. And you can see it's changing the, the texture scale. You just want to get this roughly where you like it. And then um, I'll speed up this little process here. I've, just, I've made a gradient instead of a solid texture. If you want a video on how to do this gradient, just let me know in the comment section. I'll, I'll make sure I do it for you. So I'm quite happy with the way this looks, this gradient like this. I'm going to... Um, move over to the animation uh, settings now, not the animated texture, but the animated panel. Now I'm going to speed this little process up as well because all my other videos cover this part and I don't think you want to see this part again. I'm just going to skip over to uh, the RV map and we're going to open up the RV map and scroll to the top of it and make sure that emissive, all these values are set to one. This will be the strength of the glow. So here it is. As you can see, it's got the gradient, it's got the custom material texture that I added to that. And I'm going to chuck it on and get some little cinematics for you. I hope you liked this video, guys. And if you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.